The whole craze with gaming mice nowadays is to make them as lightweight as possible. However, in order to achieve this, they have these honeycomb cutouts on the shell, resulting in them being major dust traps. Thankfully, there are offerings from brands that don't have these holes, of which Rocat just so happens to be a part of. Hey guys, King XF here, and today, we're going to be checking out the Rocat Burst Pro Lightweight Gaming Mouse. Starting off with basic design, the Burst Pro has an ambidextrous shape, however with side buttons on the left side only, meaning left-handed peeps are out of luck. Build quality here is incredible, with barely any signs of frame creaking when squeezed in any direction. The side buttons and DPI button do not actuate when squeezed, and the left and right click buttons do not have any wobble with no post or pre-travel. Speaking of which, this mouse has a total of 6 fully programmable buttons, 8 if you include scroll up and scroll down. There's another feature known as Easy Shift that can be set up in the software, which I'll talk about later on in this video. A strip of brushed metal is in between the left and right click buttons as well. It certainly looks stylish, but good luck keeping it free of dust. The sides have hexagonal pattern grip, and the side buttons themselves are quite big and protrude outwards a lot, making them easy to press. You can get the Burst Pro in two color variants, black or white. I got the black version, and you can see that the mouse has a translucent top shell that covers the internal honeycomb structure. The left and right click buttons are made of the same material though, while using it, I don't know the right word for this, but I feel like they felt a bit slippery and sticky at the same time, and constantly picked up oil prints. As for branding, the words Rocat Burst Pro are printed smack in the middle of the top shell, which I'm not that big a fan of. On the underside, there are two large heat-treated pure PTFE feet that ensure smooth gliding when gaming. The cable is what Rocat calls their Phantom Flex cable, which measures it at 1.8 meters or about 5 feet 11 inches. While it is pretty light, I still feel like it was a little bit stiff. I actually got a free mask at the time of ordering this mouse, though sadly this promotion has ended. For technical aspects, the Rocat Burst Pro uses their Owl Eye sensor, which is based on the Pixar PMW3389 and can go up to 16,000 DPI, of which you can have 5 stages at once. The DPI button is quite large and has the letters DPI engraved on it. In terms of measurements, the mouse comes in at about 120mm long, 58mm wide, and 39mm tall. It's intended for those that have medium to large hands and use a claw or fingertip grip. Palming won't be as easy to do unless your hands are on the smaller end of the spectrum. It actually took me a day or two to get used to the grip as I was transitioning from a Glorious Model D, which is a pretty large palm grip mouse. This mouse weighs in at 68 grams more or less. The Burst Pro uses Rocat's Titan optical switches, which have a 100 million click lifespan. In my opinion, they feel and sound quite crisp, though I do know that some people find them to be a bit plasticky. The scroll wheel is nice and tactile, though a bit on the louder side, and it's quite easy to press. Let's do a sound test. As for other tech specs, this mouse has a 1000Hz polling rate or 1 millisecond response time, onboard memory for storing 5 different profiles, a 50G acceleration, a 400IPS maximum speed with no mouse acceleration, and toggleable angle snapping. Lastly, we'll touch up on RGB which is probably the least important feature. The LEDs are capable of displaying the entire color spectrum of 16.8 million colors, with two lighting zones being the scroll wheel and the palm area. The RGB distribution in the palm area is kinda unbalanced, as you can see, the right side slightly has more permeation than the left. It's not that big a deal to me, but for those that do care, keep this in mind. There are a total of 6 effects which I'll go ahead and show right now.
Moving over to the Rocat Swarm software, you can see that it's quite robust. You can change things like the vertical scroll speed, horizontal tilt speed, double click speed, pointer speed, and mess with the DPI switcher in the settings tab. In the button assignment tab, you can change what each button of the mouse does, with four different presets being the basic, balanced, precision, and media presets. In the illumination tab, you can change up the RGB effects as well as speed, brightness, and color theme. In the advanced settings tab, you can change the polling rate, lift off distance, LED timeout, angle snapping, and sound feedback. You can also reset the mouse back to its factory settings. Lastly, on the bottom tab, you can switch between your five different profiles, manage these profiles, as well as manage macros. Now let's talk about pricing. The Rocat Burst Pro comes in at just $60 which is definitely a fair price considering its holist but lightweight design, extremely sturdy build quality, optical switches rated for 100 million clicks, and many more great features. As always, link in the description if you're interested in checking this mouse out. Moving over to pros and cons as well as my final verdict. For pros, I love how the Rocat Burst Pro maintains a low weight while having no holes at the same time. I wouldn't want the internals of my mouse to be covered in dust, so big props to Rocat here for doing this. Another aspect is its build quality, like, it's just so sturdily constructed, it won't give in when squeezed, which makes it feel like it's never gonna break. The heat-treated pure PTFE feet are very smooth, allowing you to get those quick flicks while in-game. Next up are the buttons. From my perspective, they feel and sound super crisp, and the scroll wheel is decently tactile and easy to press. The RGB lighting on the mouse is also a rather neat feature, and while I don't care much about it, it's still nice to have. Lastly, the Rocat Swarm software has many functions that you can toggle with and is relatively easy to use, though it will take some time getting used to it. As for cons, there aren't any major ones that I can think of. The first one is the branding on the mouse. It's located smack in the middle of the top shell, which in my opinion feels a bit in your face. Speaking of the top shell, the translucent plastic material is rather slippery and picks up a bit of fingerprint oils. I'll constantly have to clean it and it just sort of bugs me. The cable, while it is quite nice, I felt like it was on the stiffer side of things, so I wouldn't consider it to be the best either. It's also kind of thick, so I really had to shove it in my mouse bungee. So in the end, would I recommend the Rocat Burst Pro? The answer is a huge yes. Still maintaining a lightweight without holes, superb build quality, ultra smooth PTFE feet, and many more just for $60. I find the Burst Pro to be worth every single penny and would highly recommend it. Again, link in the description if you want to check this out. Anyway, that'll be it for my review of the Rocat Burst Pro. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like to show your support, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my future uploads. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, MattKingXFOfficial, as well as join my Discord server where more giveaways will be happening in the future. I'm KXF, and I'll see y'all next time.